We've been talking about this all summer long. Crime is up in the city of Cleveland. We're talking an almost 30% jump in homicides compared to this time last year and a 97% increase in car thefts. At the same time, the police department continues to see a dwindling police force. Today, I sat down with Mayor Justin Bibb to talk about all of it. Is the lack of officers that Cleveland has right now impacting what we're seeing in the streets? I would say a couple things. It absolutely impacts our ability to continue to be as proactive as we want to be. Um, but despite the fact that we're down uh, nearly 20%, you know, we have been innovative and thoughtful about how we continue to cut down on violent crime in our city. Is the city working quickly enough, you know, responding to this? Absolutely. As I said before, since we took office last year, we have been working around the clock. Just yesterday, the mayor announced his RISE initiative. It includes investments in police and public safety, promoting aggressive enforcement and increased visibility in the city's neighborhoods, using tech to combat crime, and improving partnerships with state and federal agencies like Highway Patrol and the FBI. The plan comes after the West 6 shooting and after the debate over public safety boiled over at City Hall last week. That's when city council members called out the mayor in his office for not doing enough and not showing up for their meeting. Safety Committee Chair Mike Polenzik says he didn't know about the mayor's new plan until it came out yesterday. He told Neil Fisher it was encouraging. We've given the administration everything they've asked for and then some. So the ball is in their court. We're going to see if the partnerships materialize. We're going to see if the aggressive enforcement takes place. We're going to see if there's a better, better engagement across the entire city. The mayor's plan also included a marketing strategy to recruit much needed police officers. This is something the city council has been asking for for a while. So coming up at 5 p.m., mayor talks about what took so long for that announcement.